Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone has had a good weekend. I had the most chill weekend I've had in like a long time. I just like decided I'm just gonna stay home and relax. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I've been working um, a little bit and just trying to catch up. I had a just insanely busy week at work this week and I'm having a really busy week again this week. So um, yeah, and I'm actually working next weekend too. So anyway, but um, I have my empties to share. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for your positive feedback on my chop and chat. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I'm kind of boring sometimes with my, like I don't always know what to talk about. So I need to come up with like a topic next time or something like that. But anyways, let's get started with the empties. Um, I actually went through a pretty decent amount this week. Oh, I wanted to mention, so some of you asked me in the video or on my video or have commented or sent me a message asking if I would do a video showing the kittens. Um, I will do that at some point. I was actually thinking about doing it in this video, but I was ready to film and mom is, um, nursing in the back of my couch long story short i woke up mom cat woke me up at 3 45 this morning kept me up for a couple hours i think since she's so busy you know nursing and stuff like that she just isn't getting the attention that she needs whenever she's not which happens to be overnight so i was up from like 3 45 to about six and then I fell back asleep, woke up at 9.30 this morning. And I went to check on the kittens and they were gone. And I was like, what? I had a heart attack. I was looking everywhere for them. I literally like had a heart attack. And then I looked under, I, I thought the worst, but I, I looked over here. Um, there's a table on the side of my couch and they were underneath there and so I pulled my couch out a little bit so if it, if you can kind of like tell it's not really angled right um, it's because I pulled the couch out so that because that's where she wants her kids right now so anyway let's get started so um, I guess we'll do samples first actually let's do a non wax item this I had um, so I had my, my other car was in the shop and this was on there. It was one of those Scentsy car bars and vanilla bean buttercream. So this actually did really well. I was pretty surprised at how well it performed. Um, this is the only car bar I've ever had. It was, um, did I tell you it was vanilla bean buttercream? It lasted like two weeks, which to me is a good amount of time. So, um, and Natalie actually sent me another one of these. Um, and now I'm trying to remember what the scent is. But I'm gonna be using that in my in one of my vehicles at some point um, soon. So really enjoyed that car bar. Okay, samples. This is I think this is a sample, but um, I got this in a random act of kindness. It's from Candles from the Keeping Room and Sweet Pumpkin Ice Cream. So I this was a pumpkin shape I used this at work I think it was like a Thursday I think I melted it on Thursday and it was so good I don't know if I would say oh that's I you know pumpkin ice cream but it was a really sweet pumpkin like almost like you know caramelized or like brown sugary cinnamon delicious it was really good um this lasted probably two days in the warmer at work. I really enjoyed this. It was a different, unique scent for a pumpkin. So I enjoyed that. Okay, samples from Sassy Girl. This is Buttercup. Um, this has to be, <sighs> it kind of reminds me of, um, so I used to, me and my mom made a long time ago made my grandmother and my grandfather these little mini like muffin things 
but they had this lemon glaze on the top. That's what this reminds me of. It, it smells like a buttery like muffin with like a lemon glaze. Yeah, and this, I melted this at work too and it was really good. I'm really enjoying samples. I used to have so many samples and I still have a decent amount, but I've been working through my samples and I love them because it's just fun to try out new stuff that's like one and done. You know? Okay, um, let me see if there's any, oh. I finished up this sample, like this tester thing from Scentsy and French Lavender. I warm this in my um, guest bathroom and this was really good. To me, this is like a, like a salted herbal lavender, but it's fresh and airy. Here comes the flies again loved it um that was really good and i just you actually use one of those spoonchilla things from uh, l3 and i just kind of like carve it out and put it in my warmer so um that was that was actually nice i feel like i may have had a clam in that before it was really good okay i think that's it for samples um but this is a sample size this is from midnight daydream it's called vampire muffins it's cherry marshmallow cranberry muffins so i midnight daydream is no longer around unfortunately this was poured in july of last year um i could kind of smell it i put this whole scent shot in my open concept which i if you know kind of like thinking about it i would probably end up using like a scent shot and a half it was like up to me but i only had one of these and i didn't mix it with anything um, so I can't really smell this very well, but, um, I, you know, I really love these scent shots. I wish that vendors still use those. Um, they're just easy just to chop in half and put in your warmers, but I actually chopped that into three pieces. But yeah, I didn't really get much scent from that. There was something else I was going to say, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I had recently found this box of wax that I just put away and um, I went through it and I found some more stuff like for fall and also other scents too. And I just decided to melt some of that this week and I think I still have some left, so yeah. Including this, this is L3 Waxy Wonders, Jenny, no, <laughs> Jenny. Benny and June with Hufflepuff. So Benny and June, I guess, is French baguettes, honey butter, and blackberry marmalade mixed with the um, Hufflepuff, which I believe is like a pumpkin pasty, sweet cinnamon sugar blend kind of scent. So just kind of like a fall bakery. You guys, I was really shocked because this is a year old. I got this last year. This lasted like the, whole, the rest of the evening. Like I put this in around five o'clock during the week and I could smell it like at midnight. So it was really good. Um, I was really shocked at how well that performed. Uh, I don't know if it was cure time or if it was just the scent, it was really good. Um, I guess since we're doing L3, maybe that was the only L3 finish. I guess so, yeah. Um, okay, let's continue with bags, I guess. So this is from Rose Girls Lavender Linen and Icy Shine. This I got in a Kahuna box last year i think not really my scent preference it was nice to me this smelled like black that you know those car fresheners that are black ice but it was like that with lavender to me um so this smelled like a car scent i know that's weird but um i didn't really care for this it's okay it's just not my scent preference but it was really strong so yeah. Um, I took a break from the pumpkins and all that kind of stuff. It's still warm here. It's finally cooled off for like in the mid 80s now. Um, this is from Rose Girls. It's yummy. And this is grape, saltwater taffy, and ginger ale. A friend of mine sent this to me. I loved this. I was shocked at how much I liked this because I just haven't been in the mood for these scents. But, you know, when you've just been doing all the cinnamon and stuff, which I love, it's nice to get a break. This smelled like grape, syrupy, fizzy deliciousness. Performed amazing. I put this whole chunk muffin in my living room, dining room, kitchen. It was amazing. I loved it. It was so good. So I would repurchase or I would purchase that in general. 
Um, this is from K Scented Melts, and this I got from my friend Natalie. It's Black Opium. Um, this I really like on cold. I believe this is a perfume scent. Um, it's really pretty, but I didn't really get much from this warming. Um, I intend on ordering from K like very soon. I would like to get holiday scents. And I don't know if I'm gonna, I have a list of customs that I wanna do. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing that either like in that order with my Christmas or if I'll wait until like spring, I don't know yet. But um, this scent, it was good. It was a really pretty perfumey scent, but I didn't get any scent in my open concept. So I put it in my, um, where did I put it? I put it in my, no, I put, wait. Oh, I did. I tried it in my kitchen one day. And then I put it in my bathrooms, in my bedroom, and I couldn't really smell it. So I'm hoping K it's not a K problem for me in this house. But um, it was a pretty scent. I just didn't really get much from it. So that was a disappointment. I'm sad. Okay, let's do retail wax. So this is Better Homes and Gardens Orange Buttercream and Cupcake. It's orange zest, vanilla, and buttercream. I, I'm telling you, I love Walmart wax. Seriously, their wax is so good. It performs so well, better. I mean, when people say it performs better than their uh, vendor wax, I, I really, I, they're not lying. Um, this is so, so good. It's like orange Fruit Loops, but there's kind of like a, um, like a richness. So I don't know how to explain it, but it's not, I feel like it's not just Fruit Loops that I'm smelling, you know? But this is a really good like orange Fruit Loop scent, I guess. It's good, it's rich, it's amazing. Really love that. And again, I love retail wax. From Better Homes and Gardens, I'm actually warming this now in my bathroom and bedroom. It's pear and spun sugar. It's whipped pear, wild berries, cream, vanilla, and sugar cane. So this is one of their larger clams. These are three and a half ounces. So I think it's an ounce more than these. And I think these are like $3 and something. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. So I do feel like I get, I guess, the wild berries note, like a berry pear kind of scent and definitely like sugary sweet, which sounds good, but there is, it must be the vanilla in here that's throwing me off. I don't love this. I think I prefer like if it's going to be a pear bakery, I prefer it with like brown sugar or cinnamon or, you know, bakery, that kind of bakery then just kind of more basic, if that makes any sense. Um, I tried mixing this, it just didn't do very well mixed for me, and I just, it was just okay. It was just okay, I don't, this wouldn't be something I would repurchase, but I'm glad I tried it. From Hobby Lobby, this is the, is this the D DD or something? I don't know, but it says Wickless Fragrance Cubes, number 13. Balance, I don't know. But these are $2.99 full price, but you can get them on sale, I think, during the weekend for half off. Um, I don't know, are these the, I don't know if this is the DD brand. Anyway, this one is Acai and Palm Wood. You guys, I loved this. I was shocked because I mean, I don't know why, but um, it's, it's sweet, like fruity berry with like sweet green, maybe. I don't know, but I really loved this. I was shocked at how much I liked this scent. I use this in my bathrooms, my bedroom, and the guest room. Like, I think maybe a couple different times throughout the week. 
and this was really good. I was really, really shocked at how much I liked it. It was really like a pretty fruity scent. I, I liked this. This was, this was good. I would repurchase that. Um, any more retail now? The, okay, I actually have another K. I actually tried this this morning and it's still going. It's Bake Shop from K Scented Melts. Um, this is old, so I don't know if I if it's fair for me to judge this, but I warmed. I've been I've tried this before, and it's really good. It's a rich bakery scent. It's a really good rich bakery scent, um, like brown sugar maybe. Um, I don't know, but it, butteriness, it's really, really good, but I got hardly any scent, and I put four cubes in my open concept, and I barely got any scent, so I actually ended up mixing it with Santa Zonquito from L3, and that definitely helped, but I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of worrying that maybe K isn't working for me in my house, and it sucks because I love K, and I'm going to order, and if for whatever reason, her wax isn't throwing for me. I'm gonna have to give some away or something like that. I'm just hoping that that's not the case because I really do love her wax. Okay, moving on. This is from The Bathing Garden and this one is Wolfsbane Bites. I don't know what the exact scent notes are, but no, I do. I don't know the exact, but this is Moroccan mint and sugar cookies. Or something um I know it there's cookies in here or something but Moroccan mint for those of you that don't know what Moroccan mint smells like to me it smells like a spiced mint scent and the sugar cookie so it was almost like uh, I don't know I mean it's a minty cookie scent so it's bakery not overly bakery but this did so well. I put this in maybe around five o'clock in the evening when I came home from work and the next day it was still going. 24 hours later, it was way lighter for sure. So I did change the wax, but this was really good. I don't know if it did so well because of cure time or maybe it was just the scent itself because mint scents generally tend to throw well depending on how well the vendor does for me in general. Um, but yeah, this was really good. I got great throw from this, and it was a really delicious scent, so I enjoyed that very much. Um, I melted this yesterday, and this was my first full item that I have melted from Harper James. It's cream and sugar please, and the notes say caramel, coffee, cinnamon, and vanilla. So, it's definitely coffee on cold. I just don't really feel like I got a whole lot of coffee on warm. And it wasn't super strong. It was like maybe a six and a half out of ten. And I put the whole clam in my living room, dining room, in my kitchen. So I had four cubes in my living room, dining room, and then I put two in my kitchen and I got like a six and a half, maybe seven, but probably six and a half out of 10. And I didn't get a whole lot of coffee. I felt like it was like a, almost like a creme brulee, like cinnamon caramel scent. I mean, and it was good. Like I liked the scent. I just, it wasn't what I was wanting it to be, I guess. And it wasn't super strong. So I don't know if it's just her coffee is like that. I'm going to have to continue to warm some of it and let you guys know. I'm curious how long you let your Harper James cure. Um, I think I've heard Charity say like two months maybe, but let me know. I'm curious. And the last one that I emptied this week is Super Tarts in Jaws. And I'm really sad about this because I love this scent. It's sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, and pear. I mean, it's so, it's so good. It's so, so good. Oh, it's just the most, this it probably is like one of, at least in my top three favorite clean scents 
from anyone, not just super tarts from anyone. It's sweet, but it's not like, oh, that's pear or that's plum, you know? It's just like a very fresh, clean, I would say slightly aquatic, sweet, fresh, amazing scent. I love this, and I have tried many blends with Jaws, and I love it mixed with Jaws. Like, Jaws and blends is really good. And I've only tried Jaws blends, like, from Super Tarts. Like, I haven't mixed the Jaws scent with other scents that I have, if that makes any sense. But um, I've tried one I know in um, with fresh picked strawberry, one with pink sugar, one with uh, mac apple, one with peppermint. Um, I don't know, but it's literally, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, fresh, clean scent. I can't recommend that one enough. And again, like try it in blends too. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm actually, I might be filming another video or I might wait until tomorrow. Um, we'll see. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, a great week, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.